What would you do if your marriage all of a sudden just fell completely apart and everything was hopeless, but then something happened and it turned it around and you found peace and unity? Stay tuned. Gavin McLeod was raised in Pleasantville, New York, the son of a Chippewa Indian and gas station owner. He followed his 1952 graduation from Ithaca College with military service, then moved to New York City and worked for a while as an usher and elevator operator in Radio City Music Hall. A solid break on Broadway came in A Hat Full of Rain in 1956. This led him to move to Los Angeles to attempt film and TV. For a while, he earned a minor reputation as a second-string heavy in crime stories. His career more or less flowed and ebbed with these minor dramatic roles until 1972, when his typecast as a shady, dangerous character was shattered forever. As Murray Slaughter, the balding, beaming news writer on Mary Tyler Moore, uh, Gavin and Murray became friendly household names in the 70s. From then on, he can only be envisaged as a lovable schmuck and nice guy. This image was later cast in stone with the enduring success of another TV series, The Love Boat. In its role, he became the ingratiating Captain Stubbing. On the downside, Love Boat marred his chances to be considered for more challenging work. His inability to cope with success led to alcoholism and divorce from his wife, Patty. During the mid 80s, Gavin and his then ex-wife had a conversion and that led them to remarriage. Following his conversion and remarriage, he and his wife wrote about the struggle with divorce and alcoholism in Back on Course. It is the remarkable story of a divorce that ended in remarriage and details his problems with alcohol and subsequent recovery and remarriage to his wife, Patty McLeod. Today, he appears occasionally on the summer stock dinner theater stage and as a guest performer on TV. Gavin and Patty, thank you very much for coming and being oh, with us here today. Thank you, Father. It's an honor, it's an honor to, to have you here. We've, all, we've watched. We've watched you Each through other. the years, and now, now, oh, you've been watching me yes. too, oh, yes. so it's, it's going back and forth. Thank you very much for coming and, and sharing with us. One of the points of this program is we can kind of get overwhelmed by the celebrity and say, oh, yeah, this is, this is so great, and they're living on a pedestal. But one of the hearts of the, the program is being able to understand how maybe many people could relate to you and some of the struggles that, are, that they're going through, struggles that they might face in their marriage in yeah. their own personal life and in their struggle to know God and find if God really has a place of, of a solution in their life. Amen. Could you share a little bit with us about uh, your life? How, how, did you, when, how did you meet the two of you? You're, was, it, was, 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 was it in New York? <laughs> no, it was out here in California. I went to, there was a little workshop called Words of Music uh, that was dedicated to the preservation of the American musical. So I went to see the Chocolate Soldier one night, the okay. operetta. And there was a little soubrette in there with a little, uh, a little blonde wig with pigtails, and it happened to be this little soubrette. And uh, I was quite intrigued by her, <laughs> and uh, the Mary Tyler Moore show had just gone on. And when the show was over, I was waiting for so another friend of mine that was in the show, and uh, Patty came out. This is Patty. And, uh, <laughs> 
uh, the quiet, we just started the chatting. The quiet, good-looking one. We just started <laughs> chatting. And uh, she said, oh, I'm so happy for your show. And my daughter's in Arnie, which is just before your the show. Oh, Arnie Network. Do you Arnie, I Arnie? remember Arnie. Yeah, she was the little that. daughter. That's my daughter played oh, the wow. daughter, oh. and, and Gavin's was on the Mary Tyler Moore show, which was oh sure, of course we know. And that. she was yeah. so cute, even when without the wig, and uh, so, <laughs> it just something just happened, and I said, I think I've met my soulmate, oh, and wow. that was the big. That's how we met. But you know, it wasn't like that. Our backgrounds were very diverse when we were young people. Uh, as what about, you were about, your, what about, to, I mean, what about your family? What that, your, your I'm just going to get yeah, into that, yeah. Father. Yeah. In my family, I was born in a little town called Pleasantville, New York, a suburb of New York City. And, uh, it was during the Depression, and uh, it, my mom had to leave school after the seventh grade to go to work, and she worked for the Reader's Digest. She was one of the five women really? working that when, they, for, when the Wallaces started. Yeah. And my dad had to leave work in the fifth grade to go mm -hmm. to work. I mean, he had to leave school. My dad and my dad in the, in, in the uh, eighth grade, my mom after two years of high school. See, it was like that. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. and they were not <coughs> geared for someone that wanted to be an actor. And I was, I did a play in the fourth grade, and uh, when I was four years old in kindergarten, and I heard that applause, and I thought, gee whiz, somebody the likes direction me, of my you know? life. And I said, I want more of that. <laughs> that was the beginning of all that happened. And eventually I got a scholarship to college, and the Lord has really watched out for me all my life. And, and coming back to after I met Patty, we got together, and um, then we broke up, and, and I'll get into that in a second, and Patty can really give some of the women and men out there information to help them. Uh, I was praying to the Lord, and he said to me, you know, you've been searching your whole life for your father, because my father died when I was very young, and he was 39 years old. And so I just had a need for an older man in my life, for someone to... You know, and I, I never really had that. Uh, I thought I had it with God, but I really didn't have a relationship, you know, a real tight relationship, or else my life would have been different, I think. And uh, so God, he, he told me, he said, look, he said, you've been looking for your father all your life. Patty's dad left.